Latoya. Welcome to Come Cook With Us. On this edition of Come Cook With Us, it's the holidays, so we're making chicken gumbo from one of our top box boxes. In the gumbo box, it comes with two yellow onions, three green bell peppers, one bunch of parsley, one stalk of celery. And it comes with a bag of chicken breast, which is approximately five pounds. Today, I'll be showing you how to make it from scratch, from stock to roux to finish. Today for your stock, you'll take all of the excess parts of your vegetables that you don't need and add into the pot along with some chicken bones or chicken parts. To that, you will add one tablespoon of Creole seasoning, one tablespoon of dry thyme, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and one teaspoon of onion powder, and four cups of water. Put it on a stove on medium-high heat until it comes to a boil, then reduce the fire and let it simmer to skim off the excess. That's how you make it sound. So next is the roux. You want to add equal parts of oil and flour over medium-high heat and stir until it's thickened and brown. If for any reason you have an allergy to flour, you can always substitute a flour for either almond flour or corn flour. We chose to use almond flour here. So your roux should come out looking just about like so. Once it gets to a nice chocolate brown color, it's ready. You can add in your veggies and your chicken and let those guys get to going before you add in your liquid. So, I like my vegetables a little chunky in my gumbo. But if you don't happen to like the vegetables chunky, here are some ways that you can make them smaller. So with your onion, you can small dice. First you would need to cut it in half. Cut the half down the middle and then cut it into smaller sections and then chop it. With your bell pepper, you're going to need to cut it into small ribbon-like pieces and then chop along the sides. And with your celery, you just need to slice it with the tip of your knife down the middle about four times and then slice it as well. Small dice. With your parsley, you want to start chopping it really finely. That process is called mincing until you have nice little pieces that you can decorate the top of your gumbo. Next, you want to take your four chicken breasts and cut them into cube-like pieces so that they're easier to eat, like so. Make sure you take off the excess fat parts on the outside of the chicken breast because you don't want to eat that. First, you want to add in your four cups of chicken stock. Let that go for about seven minutes. And then we're going to add in four cups of water and let it go for about 15 to 25 minutes until the chicken's fully cooked. The excess off the bottom, let it come to like a little boil. So, once you've added in your chicken, then add in four cups of chicken stock. Stir it in and let it come to a boil for about seven minutes. Right before you add in your water, add in your tablespoon of gumbo filet. Once you've added in your four cups of water, this is the time if you need to cook rice, you can cook rice. <laughs> let that boil for about 15 to 25 minutes until the chicken is fully cooked. So now you need to skim your gumbo. Skimming is just the process where you go along with a spoon or a ladle over the top of your gumbo and take off any of the fat or excess oil. Your 
gumbo is done, all you need to do is top it with rice and your garnished parsley. And you have a nice holiday chicken gumbo that your family will love. And now, we're going to have some people taste it. Yeah? Okay, we made this with almond flour instead of all-purpose flour. I was gonna say, And thank you for joining us on Come Cook With Us. Join us in about two weeks for the next video. Happy holidays! Yay!